Welcome back for another Litecoin price prediction analysis and in this video I will be sharing my next price targets and also give you the price action to expect on the Litecoin chart ahead of the next Litecoin halving event and before I do so show some love by first giving this video a thumbs up subscribe to the channel and also check out the channel membership and starting the video by first sharing the Litecoin having countdown, you can see that we have 18 hours and 58 minutes to the next Litecoin having event at the time of this recording, which is an event that I'm expecting will bring about a lot of volatility in the markets. And getting back to the charts to give you my technical point of view, at the time of this recording, Litecoin is holding above the 20-day MA here on the 4-hour chart, which is now acting as support for us to continue gearing up to the next key area of resistance at around the $94.9 mark and a break above that key area of resistance. With a successful retest, we can easily see Litecoin get above the $97.67 mark which is the next key area of resistance here on the charts and a break above that key area of resistance also we can easily see Litecoin get above the $100 mark ahead of the next Litecoin halving event. Litecoin has also given us a massive breakout out of a chart pattern that we had been trading within which is this triangle that we had been trading within where you can see that we have pushed the price of Litecoin to the apex of the triangle until we finally saw the breakout to the upper side and the minimum target area for the breakout out of this chart pattern lies at around the $112.51 mark and that is the minimum that we can expect Litecoin to do to fully maximize the breakout out of this chart pattern to the upper side. We have also continued to obey the ADO12 structures where you can see that after seeing our low on the 14th of June at around the $70.92 mark, we started gearing up where we first picked in the formation of these wave 1, so a wave 2, a wave 3, a wave 4 and then the wave 5 gave us a high above the $115 mark, completing the formation of these larger ADO12 count 1. And after seeing that first wave, we started a breakdown move in the formation of this larger ADO12 count 2 in a move that has now managed to get into the minimum retracement areas highlighted on the charts using this red target area, which is an area that we have now fully maximized and there are high chances that we now have a low in place for the second wave and soon we can see that massive pump to the upper side in the formation of this wave 3 and giving you minimum target areas in the formation of that wave 3 to the upper side by connecting the trend based Fibonacci from the low of the first wave to the high of that wave 1 then dragging the Fibs to the low of the second wave I get a minimum target area for the third wave at the Fib level 1.618 and that is at around the $159.05 mark and that is the minimum that you can expect Litecoin to do in the formation of that wave 3 to the upper side. So we also need to keep our eyes on on such a breakout move to the upper side in the formation of that wave 3. We also need to consider a breakdown move here on the charts where in case Litecoin gets rejected by the key area of resistance at around the $94.97 mark and maybe by any chance we continue seeing further breakdown losing the $91.35 mark which is a very significant area of support then we can expect further breakdown to the next key area of support at around the $82.62 mark where we can find support and then from that point we can expect our massive bounce to the upper side in the formation of that wave 3. As long as we continue holding above the $82.62 mark I'm still expecting higher prices in the formation of that wave 3 here on the Litecoin chart. Also taking a look at the indicators on the RSI we are trading at around the 54 mark on the MACD we have been able to print a bullish cross, a bearish cross, though we are seeing a sharp decrease in the selling momentum, suggesting that soon we might be able to print that bullish uh, cross to the upper side. So let's be patient and see how that plays out and I will be keeping you up to date.